Mississippi State baseball had its first open practice and scrimmage today. The head coach and a few returning players also talked with the media beforehand. Yes, they did. WTVA's Ethan Foster has that story from Starkville. In 2023, the story for Mississippi State baseball can be summed up with the answer to this question. How will the team respond to last year's losing season now that they know a national title is within reach? Last year was embarrassing to this program, embarrassing to us, and uh, it's not what Mississippi State baseball is about. Head coach Chris Lamonis' new roster includes a lot of new faces, both from the transfer portal and the recruiting trail. But it's the returning players like Captain Luke Hancock, Kellum Clark, and Casey Hunt that are treating this season like a fresh start. I think it's 13 of us back and I mean, 30 new guys. So, I mean, 13 are they're pumped up uh, to get back out here and kind of prove that last year was kind of a fluke. But I'll, again, a lot of new guys where they're coming hungry and ready to prove something in the SEC. Nobody wants that, that bad taste in their mouth anymore. Um, but yeah, we've been we've been working. We've been working in silence. Uh, I think every one of us is ready to get back out there and prove something. Whenever you play at a place like this, everybody expects so much of you. But whenever you don't perform, um, I mean, people talk about it. And so we have to we have to be ready to come out this year and perform and uh, just play good baseball for Mississippi State. It's been a full season since that national championship trophy made its way to Starkville for the first time ever. And although Mississippi State didn't even make it to the College World Series in 2022, fans say that they are more than excited for the return of Bulldog baseball to the dude. Definitely could go to Omaha, definitely could win a national championship. Fred Ledbetter's son, outfielder Colton Ledbetter, just transferred to Mississippi State from Samford, and his dad is ready to root him on. We're just really, really proud of him and hope that he has a good season and, uh, and hope that he can be an asset to the team. And of course, the students say they're ready to see the team's new blood and help create one of the best atmospheres in college baseball. There's a lot of talented, a lot of like a lot of talent on this team, and just looking forward to seeing how they turn out and seeing if they make an, uh, another step. Really, I know last year it was a little bit of a hangover feel inside the stadium, but um, if we get back to where you know opposing teams show up and it feels like there's no air in the stadium for them, then we can make anything happen here, and that's the dude effect. The dude officially opens up for business the weekend of February 17th when the Bulldogs will host the Virginia Military Institute for a three-game home series to start their season. Reporting in Starkville, Ethan Foster for WTVA 9 Sports.